Welcome back to Tech Classroom Makeover. We are on location in Osceola County with a teacher that is very excited that we are one-to-one. -one. But he does have a bit of a makeover request. Let's go to Cord Challenge Charlie. Well, thank you guys for coming in. I am totally challenged with my cords right now. As you can see, I have just a mess back here. This is my charging station. A kid even tripped the other day. So it's a safety concern and it slows down my teaching because picking up and delivering computers, a nightmare. We can definitely take care of this, but first awesome. we need to send you off. We're gonna send you to the bathroom in the middle of the day. I don't have to get coverage? Nope. I'm out of here. Let's bring in our cable expert, Magic Dave. He can work his magic with cable management. Dave, what can you do for our teacher? Hey, so uh, I'm here today, I'm gonna be helping out. Um, we're gonna make this project simple so teacher could do it himself. There's a few simple supplies that we need. Basically, we're gonna need, for this makeover, we're gonna need a pot rack and some uh, Velcro strips. All right, let's All right. get started. Sure. Looks like Magic Dave is back here working hard, getting the cords organized. While he's doing that, let's check on our teacher who is taking a break. Uh, never mind. Back to Magic Dave. Hey Dave, are you finished? Ta-da! This looks amazing. It's just going to be so much better for the teacher with the cables organized and no tripping hazards. Think about what it was like before when the keepers, cables yeah, oh yeah. were all over the place. It was a little bit crazy. This is going to be great. Tell us about how you did it. So this is quite simple. I mean, it's no magic at all. The important part is basically to keep the cable organized. This can be done with, you know, some simple zip ties, twist ties, or Velcro strips. So a lot of teachers even send the laptops home with their students and ask them to charge them at night. Um, and bring the devices back fully charged the next day. The students arrive at school with a fully charged device and it generally lasts them all day. Some teachers find this is easier and that way their students can even use their laptops at home. So that's another option for teachers too. But I think we're ready to bring our teacher in and show them well, what perfect. you've been able to yeah. do. So let's bring him in. Oh my gosh, I can't. How did you do this magic, Dave? This has gotta be some kind of oh, magic. Oh, uh, there's no magic here. This is, this is just, this is going to change everything. I mean, it's organized. My kids are going to be able to get their devices faster. It's going to be safer. I can get them to work easier. This is just, this is changing everything. Any teacher could do this. Really? All you need is a simple, you know, zip tie, wow. some Velcro, and you're pretty much good to go. That, oh, I can't thank you guys enough. This is just amazing. This is a simple fix using simple household items. The important part of this makeover is we want to keep the cords organized and easy to use. This way students will always have a specific place to put their device. It also assures the devices will be charged and ready for instruction. 